hello guys welcome to my channel better talent so today we're gonna talk about AWS glue interactive session so uh, what is AWS glue interactive session so it provides us a remote spark runtime environment where you can you know develop your uh, application uh, you can test you can write line by line code and then uh, it's gonna get executed in a remote spark cluster so that's what it is providing us it's serverless, serverless so we don't need to manage any infrastructure in the AWS glue interactive session so this is all about it and another thing what I would like say why you need it so like what problem it's solving actually for us so like data engineers can develop and test their glue scripts locally on their development machine or laptop so so that's the key benefits uh, we are getting instead of we go into the AWS console keep on developing over there so this is uh, like shifting the development on your local machine so that's the problem it's trying to solve and how you can do it especially like I'm providing the instruction today for Windows machine these instruction I have tested very well so we're gonna go through all of these now one by one so well, let's start with that so these are the follow following prerequisite for installing AWS glue interactive session so you need to have a python 3.6 or the latest version installed so i'm going to show you all these things so if you look at it so I have installed my python already so i will recommend if you haven't installed it so you guys also do the installation so you can see the 3.9 1.3 is installed on my machine and another prerequisite is like you need to have aws command line setup is done properly and working correctly on your laptop so one of the basic simple command to test that is like if you run this command so it's gonna list all the buckets in your s3 so like that and then now so make sure this is done properly and then what you can follow a like uh, there is a documentation in the aws documentation about how to install the aws cli so i'm assuming like it's pretty straightforward and you guys can follow the aws uh, documentation in case if anyone is facing problem just comment on the YouTube video then I should be able to provide you the documentation like how, how it can be done so now next step is I am role has to be created so I'll go in the AWS I am so this is the I am service so here I have created a one AWS glue service role so uh, in I am so then you have to click on the role and then create a glue service role and in this glue service role you have to make sure you have attached these permissions so this permission is optional uh, giving the s3 full access so if uh, but it's not the scope of this video what we are doing today so uh, but I have done because I'm going to show you a sample like okay it's really connecting to the s3 and you are able to list all the data in s3 bucket so that's why i have done it and but these two are the main services uh sorry policy you need to attach to this role and these are the aws managed so when you will search over here so you're going to get it by default so this setup has to be done before we start with that aws glue interactive session then as a next step so you just copy this command and run in the your command prompt i have done the installation already so it's going to show me like okay requirement are already satisfied so after running this command then you have to run the next command this this command it to show the location of where the aws glue session is installed so now here you can see this is the location where it is installed so as per this command so we have to change the directory and go to the site package location and inside that aws glue interactive session so what i'm gonna do here cd 
and then go to the site package location then next is again we have to navigate to the next directory C AWS Glue Interactive Session Kernel and then in that after going into this directory then we have to install this Glue Pi Spark Kernel so I have already installed it so for me it's showing just okay removing the existing kernel and installing the again and then after that so you have to run this Jupyter Notebook command so it's going to open a Jupyter Notebook for you so here you can see so this is what it is showing so now what I'm going to do I will create a new file new notebook glue by spark notebook and then we'll just go back again to the auto tutorial and going to follow this so here I have written okay execute this sample Jupyter notebook so if I'm gonna click on this so it's gonna go on this this is github repository so you can copy all this command one by one and run over there so and run this so this is to set up your uh, region then this one is for the authentication so we it's going to, it's the default profile so this step this profile is set up when you are doing AWS CLI setup and you I think if you are aware of AWS CLI so you will be knowing like by default it's giving the profile name is default so that's what I'm using here and then we have to use the glue role which we have created so just copy this from here and now you have to go into your account and copy this ARN from here copy this and so this is what it happened now the next thing we have to copy this all the lines And all these things are going to trigger the AWS glue session. So you can see, like, it's waiting for the session. This sample is showing. So, meanwhile, we can start checking over here. See, when you are in the AWS glue service, so here you can see the interactive session. And when you're going to refresh it, it yeah, so it's provisioning the AWS glue session. So, you can see over here. So it's, we are waiting. So I'm just going to post the video maybe for few seconds. Okay, so you can see now like our glue session is ready. And then now what we're going to do. So we have to copy this next sample code written here in the github so it's going to show like our interactive session is really working so when we gonna execute this so this should be the your bucket name and any location so it's trying to connect to the s3 bucket and going to print the schema and the number of counts so you can see like uh, this uh, frame uh, dynamic frame has uh, 20 records and this is the schema for that and this is the command which I'm going to use uh, to stop that session so if you issue this command so you can see like if you will go in the glue console it will start stopping it so once it is stopped so then it's not gonna cost you anymore so that's the important thing just to remember you stop it or delete it and one of the key thing like once you are uh, once you have a spark session over here so you can develop your application over here so after that I think it's uh, the what things we are left over here you just understand the spark and the glue and 
develop your scripts over here yeah so that's all about for today video so thank you so much if you have any question please uh, leave in the comment so i will try to answer your comment thank you so much if you like this video please subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up thank you so much